Over the past few weeks, Disney and Bob Iger have been under attack. First, we had the Panderverse. Then we had Elon Musk come out and attack the company and, of course, Bob Iger himself. And then we have consumers who are just not happy with the content they're releasing, like Wish and the Marvels. But now, Bob Iger has decided to come out and say that creators at Disney have lost sight of what their jobs should be. I have a few different things to show off, but before we get into the topic, if you enjoy the content I create, check out the links in the description, follow me on social media, and consider supporting through Patreon or via YouTube memberships. Now, Bob Iger, over the past few days, has been trending nonstop because so many people have been talking about the things that he said. I did cover in a previous video other statements he made, but this is a disgusting films tweet I wanted to reference. It says, Bob Iger says creators at Disney have lost sight of what their job should be. Entertain first, not messages. He adds that stories infused with positive messages for the world can be be great, but that it shouldn't be the primary job. And this is hilarious because this is exactly what Disney has been doing wrong for years. And clearly it is not just the creators, but also the higher ups who are green lighting projects, who are okaying things that are going on like Kevin Feige, Kathleen Kennedy, Bob Iger himself, I'm sure has to green light a lot of projects. But him admitting that Disney's recent productions focus too heavily on social messaging and not enough on actually entertaining audiences is hilarious because it's what we've all been saying for years at this point, and especially over the past year with things like She-Hulk and Miss Marvel, The Marvels, all of these productions that have things like dialogue that degrades men and features inclusive language and comments on things like how great women are because, uh, you know, all of the their projects are female-focused, so that's the focus in their content. It's pretty useless as well, seeing as the, you know, female MCU fans like myself didn't get into the MCU just because of the females. I'm sure that there are a small percentage of women who did, but the vast majority enjoyed Marvel because of the great storytelling, the fantastically fleshed-out characters, and instead of just continuing down the path of making content for everyone, men and and women, especially when the majority of your audience is male-dominated, yeah, you're going to face backlash and ultimately lose customers because you're hyper-focusing your content on one demographic that, again, isn't the majority of your customer base and want the same content as the majority. Bob Iger saying this, it just shows that he is honestly kind of desperate to, uh, you know, please investors uh, because no one wants series that they've been making like the Proud Family louder and prouder where they're constantly remarking on real world political issues. They hold their fists up like the BLM symbol or Ironheart that's supposed to be coming out soon where the only reason she exists is to be a more diverse woman of color Iron Man. She'll never be Iron Man's equivalent and they can't change that but boy Boy, are they gonna try again? It's like the Marvels. Nobody wants this trio of these strong, independent females when we could have characters like Thor and, and Hulk and Iron Man. But they've left those in the past because, of course, actors want more money and they view it as, well, we might as well try to restart the MCU. We've already got an audience, but that hasn't happened. And then, of course, you have on the Lucasfilm side of things, Kathleen Kennedy focusing on the forces female and greenlighting Ray movies, which, again, is not what Star Wars fans want. Again, this is such a hilarious thing to see because we have been saying for years at this point that creators at Disney should be watched over and that they should be focusing on entertainment first, not messaging. But that, of course, is not what has been happening at Disney. It is funny to me to see Bob Iger damage controlling so much because they are facing such scrutiny right now because they are losing so much money at the box office. Only time will tell if they do do focus, you know, more going forward on quality over quantity, like he claims, and that they will be focusing on entertaining first and not shoving messaging into their content. But I think that that is very unlikely to happen given their track record.
But that's all that I really had to discuss in this video. Let everyone know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this, make sure to give it a like, and of course, if you didn't, give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but I will talk to you all again in the next video really soon.